Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Daisha. I'm the owner of PGL Planners and this is my YouTube channel where we do everything planning and faith. And today is episode 6 of the 101 Digital Planning Series. We're going to be talking about stickers. So I hope that you are ready. This is kind of an extensive topic, but I want you to erase everything you think stickers are and we're going to start with the basics. So these are sticker sheets. These are Samsung sticker sheets. And if you buy from me, you are more than likely gonna have this. These are just PDF files with pictures on them, PNGs, pictures, just your basic pictures that I've drawn and organized on the sheet for you. I also do the same thing for GoodNotes. So if you have an iPad, you will also locate a sticker that is labeled GoodNotes, uh, the sticker sheet, and you will bring it in. And I'll show you how to bring in both ones in a moment here. But this is a sticker book. This is just a PDF document that's hyperlinked like a planner, and it has pictures or stickers organized in there for you, for your convenience, to be able to use stickers. So those are two ways that you will see stickers done in my shop um, that make it very easy for the buyer. Now, the next thing that we're gonna look at is how you can use these for convenience. Um, just closing my calculator. So a pop-up window, which our tablets do, is a convenient way to have your stickers to use them. And I think we talked about this before, but we're just gonna go further in depth. This is my planner. And I'm going to click in and just, I think I picked a random page, but these are the stickers that I'm talking about on top of the PDF. It functions like a planner. It feels very realistic when you have your uh, stickers. That's my view for the week coming up. If you are curious as to how I set this up, then stick around for the plan with me tomorrow, where I actually plan out my week using all of my stickers. Um, <clears throat> but any hoot. You can put stickers however you want, wherever you want. There's really no limitations when it comes to digital planning. Because it is a reusable image, you can crop, cut, duplicate. I mean, anything you want to do, you can do. These are dashboard kits that I sell in my shop, but they're just stickers, aka pictures, of pockets that you can use to organize your little I guess pocket area of your planner. I'm gonna show you uh, how to use cropping and layering by using my dashboards because I feel like that's a really good way to show that. So I've resized the sticker that I just pulled in from Samsung Notes into J Notes. And one of the things you can use is a lasso tool or you can use the image tool. The image tool inside of the lasso tool will allow you to select stickers only, which is really nice if you've written on things. We're gonna bring in a larger pocket, which is like a more of a panel, a side panel, and I'm gonna show you what cropping looks like in JNotes. So you're gonna to wanna to be on the image tool or the selection lasso tool that I showed you and make sure images is on. Tap it and hit the word crop. Now cropping just means cutting. It's nothing more than cutting. It's like scissors, digital scissors, and you can use that to cut your pictures, just like if you were using a photo editor. And so you can cut your pockets with a square or you can use the freehanded tool, which I'll show you guys how to use in just a moment. So <clears throat> I get this question a lot about layering. Some apps do not have a front or back button. Samsung Notes has it, uh, Touch Notes has it, so does Pinley, but JNotes does not and neither does GoodNotes. So what you're gonna wanna do is if you bring something in, you're gonna wanna copy what you wanna put on top if it's beneath something and just paste it. Now, I was having some technical difficulties here, so we're just gonna ignore my struggle for a second and we're gonna hold it down and paste and ignore that annoying situation that just happened. There we go. And see, now we have the pocket on top. It's just cop uh, like cutting or pasting something. And so now we're gonna talk about the clipboard. What if you already know the stickers you wanna use? If you go into your sticker sheet in Samsung Notes, what you'll do is just select the sticker and hit the word copy. And just continue to do that over and over again for all the stickers that you want. Now you can't copy a whole slew, but you can copy quite a few um, and have them over here in your clipboard. And you can drag and drop said stickers onto your spread. This is a convenient way for planning. This is also really good if you're gonna be layering a lot of pieces. Um, keeping in mind those stickers are 
uh, going to weigh down whatever document you have. So if you use a lot of stickers, just be prepared for lag. Lag is not a big deal per se. It just means that you got a lot of stuff to load up on that page. Up, oh, And you see, <laughs> it happens to everybody. If you're struggling, trust and believe. We all do. Um, so I'm going to show you how to use the freehanded cropping tool inside of here. You're just going to tap and hit crop again and hit the freehanded. And you're going to circle the part of the picture that you want to stay. Now, I was just playing around with this just to show you. Of course, cutting this paper clip really was not necessary. But if you wanted it to appear like it was behind the photo, you could cut it like that. Um, and the great thing about having the image in the clipboard is if you mess up, you can just drag the same sticker into your spread and try again. So one of the great things about digital planning is that whatever stickers you're using, you can use infinitely and you can change it as many times as you want and not have to worry, which is great for practicing because you don't have to worry about whether or not you're going to mess something up because it is a digital file. You can just reopen a new one and start all over again. This goes the same for planning. So don't be afraid to start. You got to start somewhere. And if you mess up, just delete the, uh, the planner and bring it back in. So we have this paper clip. We've done the freehanded crop. Now, if we want to copy that same thing, we're just going to hit copy and we're going to hold it down and struggle a little bit and hit paste um, and just drag it where you want to have it. So as you can see, stickers function very freely inside of any app that you're using. You will have to get comfortable, but Samsung Notes is a great place to store stickers because for the most part, most apps will allow you to drag the stickers in there. I've tested out Flexol, Pinly, Touch Notes, of course, J Notes, Samsung Notes, because Samsung Notes works with Samsung Notes, um, and I believe Note Shelf as well. Now, the amount of stickers you can bring in at once is different. Now, you're going to hear the term widgets in this community a lot. It is still a picture. It's not any different than what we just used. It's just that widgets serve a more functional purpose and not so much of a decorative purpose purpose. So you can use these for trackers, you can use them for lists, anything that's functional, I consider to be somewhat of a widget, but they can also be uh, labeled functional stickers. We're going to look at these little highlighters since we're on this topic. So if you want it to match your sticker, which I realize that this color of this particular widget is already in my case, and so it won't make a duplicate if I try to collect it to my um, pin case down there, you see it says it's a duplicate duplicate. I did not read that in that moment. So <laughs> I thought it like maybe had a glitch, but I already had that shade of pink. Um, you can store sticker colors down here if you want to use that as highlighter. Um, and highlighters with stickers function with the widgets very differently in every app, but I'm just going to show you in, uh, in JNotes. You see how I highlighted that and it disappeared? Well, what you're going to want to do is use that lasso tool and you're gonna wanna select your highlighter in graphics function, and it'll allow you to bring that highlighter on top without moving the image. Now we can delete that. Let's try something else. Let's say we have a little pink dot, and it goes and it disappears. That means you need to turn the bottom display off, straight line off, let's circle that, and let's go ahead and delete that, and we can hit the dot again. Now the dot is appearing on top. You see how the pink is appearing on top of the widget? That's going to matter, especially if you're going to be using stickers that are trackers. You're going to want a highlighter tool that will appear above or below, depending on what kind of sticker widget you're using. And you just play around with that. You can change the colors, things like that. It's very fun to use in JNotes as far as trackers are concerned. We're going to go ahead and delete that. So those are what widgets are and how they're used and different things you can use within widgets. Now I'm going to do, um, I'm trying to remember what I did next. I believe I'm going to show you guys how to work with individual PNGs and bringing them in. So yes, I'm actually going into my Dropbox right now. This is a Lazy Susan that my tablet is sitting on. I got it from Target. If you are wanting something a little extra for your desk space to put your tablet on, I highly recommend getting a serving tray or a Lazy Susan or something. It just elevates the experience of planning. It's so much fun. Um, right now in Target in the dollar spot, they do have like a bunch of different Lazy Susans. I know they have like a marble. Definitely something to look into to elevate your planning experience. But anyways, so if you click on the product files, this is a sticker kit for me. It's the Wildfire sticker kit that's new in the shop. And these are the individual PNGs that come with it as well as the other two sheets. 
It's good notes and Samsung notes. So I'm going to show you first how to bring in a Samsung notes sticker sheet. You're going to want to go ahead and save to device. Now where you save it is up to you, but you're going to want to save it. Once you've saved it, you're going to want to go over into your files. Once you've gone over to your files, you want to click recent files because it's going to put whatever you downloaded at the top and boom, it imports it directly into Samsung notes for you. All the work is done. You can immediately start using your stickers. You don't have to worry about organizing because it's already been done for you. But if you like to use individual PNGs, here's another really quick way to go about it. Select all of the stickers within the folder. Do not try to download the folder while it's closed. Open the folder and select all of them and download them. Put them in a folder all on their own, label them that you'll be able to find it, and export all of the stickers into that folder. It's going to take a little minute because there's 45 images in this folder. So while that's happening, I just want to reiterate, do not download the whole folder. Click on the folder icon and select all images. Once you do that, you can save it to your device. If you do the whole folder, it will download as a zip. And if it's a zip, sometimes it will not let you extract or you might struggle with it. I also highly recommend that you download the Dropbox app or OneDrive or somewhere where you can store a backup file of all of these things. Now we're going to go ahead and go into recent and we see all of these individual stickers here. Now it may look annoying in this view, but let's go over to our actual gallery. We're going to go down to the folder that we just made at the bottom titled wildflowers. Here are all 45 stickers already organized. And if you make your gallery a pop-up window, you have all of your stickers organized for you in a folder easy to find and you can drag and drop these into J notes just fine in case you don't like using the sticker sheet which I can't imagine why but if you want to use the individual PNGs here you go if you don't have Samsung notes this is a great way to make use of the drag and drop function without you having to worry about organizing stickers individually because you can have them in a folder already for you inside of your gallery or an album if you will. So we're going to exit out of that. I'm trying to figure out what I'm doing next. Oh, clearing pages are easy to delete all of the things that you have. So we're going to go ahead and clear that. And now we're going to talk about covers and backgrounds. They are still pictures. So if you've been in my shop, you've seen that I have backgrounds and then I have covers. And you may be curious as to how these work. Now they are sized to fit the size of my PDF document. So if you buy these and you're using someone else's planner, you may have to warp it or make it fit because it's designed to fit my planners. So if you struggle with it, it's because you're probably not using my planner or the sizing that is designed to fit. Now we're just gonna delete these and I'm gonna show you how I bring them in just for argument's sake and then we'll close this video out. So I'm going to select the background that I have and I'm going to drag and drop it onto my spread. And I'm just going to pull it to fit the entire uh, size. I'm not warping it, I'm pulling it from the corner. You don't wanna try and snatch these from the, the sides. It's not gonna look good. Now we're gonna go ahead and pull in the cover to put on top of this flat lay desk. It's gonna give you the illusion that you're sitting planning with your planner. And boom, there you go. Super easy. Whenever you do stickers, please pull from the corner. Do not warp stickers. I have a whole video on warping stickers in the tutorials. But definitely purchase from someone who offers Samsung note sheets. You're paying the same price if you purchase from someone who does good notes only and you're getting individual PNGs. Support shops that support you. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe and share with friends who are just getting started with digital planning on Android. And don't forget to, um, like I said, comment, like, and subscribe. I will see you all next time. Bye.